What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. So recently I've been getting asked about how to integrate OpenCV with your drone application. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can write a application using OpenCV to do image processing on our drone. So without further ado, let's get into the video. In this tutorial, we're going to be converting a ROS image stream into a data type that OpenCV can do image processing on and then running a simple canny edge detector on the image. This tutorial is not going to be a particularly useful application of OpenCV, but it should show you the piping of how you can integrate ROS with OpenCV and how it can be used on your drone. So the first thing that we need to talk about is the differences between how this would run on a real drone and how we're going to run it in our simulation environment. On a real drone, you will typically do your image processing on a secondary computer rather than the flight control unit. This computer is typically called the companion computer and is typically a more powerful computer designed for image processing or high level autonomy. The reason you do this is to allow the flight control unit to mostly focus on flight critical tasks such as the PID loops to keep the, the drone in steady level flight. The companion computer on the other hand contains programs that are less critical for basic flight control. For our simulation, we're gonna be running all of our programs on one single computer. So this architecture, we have two different computers, one for flight control, one for companion programs. Uh, is not exactly applicable for our simulation environment. So in our simulation environment, we're gonna be running something more similar to this, where we have the RDPilot software in the loop instance controlling the drone, uh, which is talking to Gazebo, which is handling the flight dynamics of the drone. And then we are also gonna be using the Gazebo ROS camera plugin for Gazebo, which will create the image stream that we will then run our vision processing on. And then that, image stream we will be subscribing to on our candy edge detection ROS node. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can go ahead and start getting to work on making our program. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the IQ Vision ROS package to help build our program. Um, so let's go ahead and clone this into our Kakin workspace. All right, now let's go ahead and open up that repository in our text editor. Now that we have the package open in our text editor, let's go ahead and do some housekeeping things and set up the build in our CMake list. Go ahead and paste the lines in at the bottom. Save it. So the program that we're gonna be making is a canny edge detector, and it's gonna be taking the images from our raw stream and then running a canny edge detector uh, on the images that we're getting. And basically what the canny edge detector does is find the edges in the image that it's presented. And this is basically just a function within OpenCV and we're going to be using this to demonstrate how we can take the images from ROS and then run a image processing function from OpenCV in our ROS node. So let's go ahead and create the file called cannyedge.cpp in source. And the first thing we're going to do in our cannyedge.cpp file is copy in all the includes that we're going to need, as well as uh, some structure for our int main. <clears throat> so what these includes do is they include the necessary infrastructure for our program. So this includes image transport and CV bridge, as well as the OpenCV functions that we're gonna be using. So uh, basically what CV bridge is, is it is a package that converts between the ROS image um, message and into an OpenCV uh, mat data type. And then the OpenCV packages that we're gonna be using are the image processing package, as well as the high GUI package, which if you don't, if you're not super familiar with OpenCV, don't worry about it. We'll go over it later in a, another tutorial, but let's just go ahead for now and continue on. So let's copy in the uh, main code um, for converting the, Im the ROS images into OpenCV images. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this once we copy it in. <clears throat> 
So let's go ahead and take a look at the code that we just copied. So what we just copied is an object that um, declares our subscribers as well as um, specifies a method for converting the new image that we're receiving on that topic and then running the candy edge detector on it as well as advertising the output image on um, the ROS network. So let's go ahead and take a look at the init function, which is uh, this piece right here. So what it does is, again, declares the subscriber and then declares the publisher, which will be outputting our processed image on. And then we declare a couple named windows, which is where the images will show for debugging. And then we also have made a destructor here. So this is the code that will run when the program is closed, which basically just goes ahead and closes the vision windows, the vision processing debug windows. And finally, we have a method that is acting as our callback function. Uh, when a new image is uh, received on webcam image raw. So let's take a deeper look at image callback. So what this is doing here is this is declaring an object that we're going to be using to convert from our image, from our ROS image to our OpenCV mat type. And that's what's happening here as it takes in a message, which is the ROS message. And then we are encoding it to uh, BGR8, which is an OpenCV encoding for a color image. Uh, so that de gets declared there. And then basically down here, we dereference the pointer to get our image into the CV mat. And we call this source because it's our own process image. And then we also declare a mat of DST because that's the destination of our image processing. And then finally, we run the candy edge detector, which should find the edges of our image. And then finally, we're going to be using the OpenCV M show to show uh, what the images look like in our image processing pipeline. So the last thing we're going to do is convert the image from OpenCV into a ROS image and then publish the image on image converter output video. The last thing that we'll need to add to our program is uh, a declaration of our object such that uh, all this code will run. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, call the class and then uh, declare an instance of it in our main function. And so, so just so there's no confusion, basically, um, once we declare these publishers and subscribers, um, this raw spin function will continue to loop and call all of the subscribers and that will then go ahead and execute all the image callback code and that'll just run in a big loop and the program will continue to run now let's go ahead and build the program so in our catkin workspace we're just going to run catkin build iq vision If this is the first time that you've run Catkin build since you've cloned in IQ Vision, make sure to source your bash RC again such that IQ Vision is available when you do ROS run. Now, before we run our program, let's go ahead and open up a simulation environment and get a ROS image stream such that our program could process those images. So I'm gonna run the runway world. So let's launch that. So now that the runway world is open, we should have an image stream that we can do image processing on. So if we run ROS topic list, we should see the webcam uh, topic. And that topic is here, webcam image raw. And that's the one that we're gonna be um, doing our image processing on. So now that we have our simulation running, let's go ahead and run our image processing program. So now you can see we have two Im image windows. One is the raw and one is the processed uh, image. And so if we add an object into the sim, we should see that the edges of that uh, object is processed. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the Cessna C172. 
And as you can see, you can kind of see the outline of that Cessna. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is the viewing of the raw ROS uh, image streams using the video web server uh, that we've talked about in a previous video. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch that now. So now that we have that running, we can go ahead and in our web browser, connect to localhost 8080, and then we should see the available um, image streams. So we have our webcam image raw available, and we also have our image converter output video. So if we take a look at image raw, we see the raw image. And then if we look at the image converter output video, we should see the processed image. So this video was just a basic overview of how to use OpenCV with ROS and how to use OpenCV on our drone. In later videos, we're gonna be going more into depth of the capabilities of OpenCV, but hopefully this, this is a good starter video to get you guys started. So until the next one, I'll see you next time.